Hey friends, welcome. This is Alan Lee here with Honestly Handyman Services and today I wanted to talk about the top 10 tools that every handyman needs. So let's get started. It just so happens that most of my recommendations are Milwaukee's. I absolutely love Milwaukee's. Um, this is probably the, the number one tool that I use the most. And this is um, a Milwaukee impact driver uh, with just a one amp hour battery on it. Um, and it just, it always has a Phillips head on it. I have another one of these that has a Torx head on it at all times that, um, because I use the Torx head screws, um, but, uh, whatever screws you guys use. But anyways, this is probably my number one tool that I use most often. So I would highly recommend this. And my second tool that I use most often is also a Milwaukee and it is their drill driver. Um, this thing is pretty awesome. Also with a one amp hour battery on it. Um, the Milwaukee's, they have a little light on there, which is pretty cool. Easy forward and reverse. Um, nice chuck on it to spin around. And then the drills have a, you know, a one and a two speed on there. So this is probably the second most uh, used tool in my tool arsenal. Um, and then obviously a tape measure. Um, also happens to be a Milwaukee. So that's just by coincidence. I, I love Milwaukee's. Um, so anyway, so yeah, that's a, a good tape measure is something that you need. Um, I used to just get the free tape measures from Harbor Freight, um, but they're they're junk. They always break, but they're free. So I mean, I, I still have probably five in my tool trailer, but this is the one that I use most often. Um, I really love it. It's just nice and nice and thick, so it can go out pretty far, and it's been a great a great uh, a great tape measure for me. Um, probably the fourth one is a good screwdriver um, and the one I choose is just a flathead because my um, you know my drill driver has the Phillips head on it so if anything has a Phillips head and doesn't require like some nice finesse I use this but anyways a nice flathead um, a nice big flathead I love these things like you know you could pry some wood with it or whatever but it's also great just you know for using on flathead stuff a lot of electrical stuff. Also in my pocket all the time I keep just a really small uh, flathead screwdriver um, with a little magnet on the end. Um, I got this back when I uh, used to work at uh, as an auto mechanic um, but I always keep that in my shirt pocket. Um, next one up is a crescent wrench. Um, they're, they're actually not, I mean for people who want to correct this is not actually a crescent wrench it's an adjustable wrench. Uh, it was just originally made by Crescent, and that's why it came up with that. This is actually a Craftsman. Um, this one is, what, a, a 10 inch. Um, but yeah, these are super great. I got one of these. I got a smaller one, and then I got a much larger one. So these are always nice to have. Uh, next up is just a good quality claw hammer. Um, these have so many applications and is very great to have in your toolbox. I think I have three claw hammers, three different claw hammers, different sizes in my tool trailer at all the time just in case I need them. Another one for me because I do a lot of electrical work is nice wire strippers. Um, I use these things all the time. Uh, these in particular are made by Ideal. Uh, I've never heard of that. Um, I think I picked them up at Home Depot uh, quite a while ago but yeah these are just invaluable. Having some good quality wire strippers um, work great every time. Saves a lot of time. Uh, that way, you know, I've, I've seen, I've seen people they're trying to strip wire with their, um, you know, with their knife and just, yeah, just get yourself some wire strippers. They're so nice. Oh, this, this is probably my next one. Now I just pulled this out of my pocket. I always have it in my pocket. I didn't even think to add it to the top ten. So this probably is not going to be a top ten. I'm not even keeping count. Um, but yeah, this, this is just invaluable, and it's actually a Milwaukee as well. It's a Milwaukee fastback. Um, I keep this thing in my pocket all the time, um, yeah, even when I'm not working, um, and it's just so great. It, I love these things. It's got the, the easy, easy change uh, razor blades, and in my trailer, I got a whole Milwaukee razor blade set, um, so if I ever need a new blade, it's right there, ready to go, but yeah, this is one of them. Um, I don't even remember what number we're on, but the next one I would say is a good quality flashlight. I did a video a few days ago on flashlights, and as you know, this is the Streamlight Stinger, um, this is by far my favorite flashlight. Um, and for and you click it once, it's got that. And you, if you click it twice, it's got the strobe. I know some people they like to party, you know. So here you go. It's two in one. It's a party and a flashlight. So um, and then I would say something that I take on every single job. I made a video about this um, 
a few months back, and it is my Milwaukee uh, vacuum. This is an M18 shop vac. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, it kind of sucks. No, nah, ha, that, that was a joke. Uh, this is a great vacuum. Um, it does suck really well. It is super awesome. Um, it takes an M18. You could you could even put a nine amp hour battery in this thing, so it takes all their batteries that they uh, that they make. Um, it's got a few different attachments, but I bring this thing uh, with me. It's usually the first thing on every job with me, and it's the last thing to leave because it's just it's so great to leave to leave a job that um, that is cleaner than when you came. I had a comment on YouTube a few days ago of a guy that said he got a uh, good compliment from a lady that she said, you know, it's kind of bad when the the cleanest room in the house is the one that's under construction. And you know, that's that's so great to have and it's so true and I love people that are super excited about cleaning up after themselves because like, I always tell everyone that, that the most important part of a job is cleaning up. And this is something that I really struggled with as a kid because I hated cleaning up. When my parents told me to clean my room, I would shove all my stuff underneath my bed and call it good. But of course, they would come and look under the bed and be like, well, do it again because it looks horrible. Uh, so I've come to realize that cleaning up is a very important part, especially when you're in customers' houses. So invest in a good quality uh, cordless shop vac. My weapon of choice just happened to be Milwaukee. DeWalt makes a pretty good one too, but uh, whatever battery platform you're on, that's what I would say would go with. Um, my next tool is the Milwaukee cordless um, six in a, what is this, a six and a quarter? Oh boy, I should have known this beforehand. Six and a half circular saw um, by Milwaukee. The next upgrade I want to do is obviously put a Diablo blade on it, but this thing is great. Use it all the time. I mean, I, I don't even pull out my corded one anymore unless I'm trying to cut through some big old piece of wood or something like that. But anything that, you know, this, this does it all pretty much. I mean, you put a good battery on this thing and it's going to soar. And it's going to do even better once I get a Diablo blade on it. So, um, absolutely love it. Uh, the next thing and the final thing that I would say is a good quality tool bag. This is actually a brand new tool bag that I just got from my mom, actually. Um, it's, uh, this is the company that she works for. And they just, uh, they're giving these out for free to people that work there, obviously. And they're made by Carhartt. This is crazy. Like, she brought this home. Um, I was just doing some work at her house, and she brought this home for me. And, and I'm like, blown away. I've never had a bag this good. Like, this is crazy. It's a Carhartt bag. Like, I I don't even know how much this bag would cost, but this is insane. And I'm going to use it. It's pretty awesome. So, a good bag is great to have. You could throw all these tools that I just talked about, except for obviously the vacuum isn't going to fit in there. But most tools will fit in here. It's great just to bring in. And I love having a tool bag because uh, I can throw my tools in it, take this out to the trailer, unload it into the respective spots where it goes in the trailer, and then bring this back and get more tools, and then vice versa. So anyway, so that's, uh, that's my top 10 tools. I know that's way more than 10. I don't even remember how that is, but how much that is, but... Um, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I thank you guys so much for all the input that you guys put in in the comment section. Leave me a comment, give me a like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.